Hey everybody, I'm Ben, and this is my new Bailey WBS-14 bandsaw. So, about a month ago, well I guess it was back in April, uh, Bailey sponsored a woodworking contest on woodworkingtalk.com, uh, and it was a build something that, that fits in an 18 inch cube, anything smallest or largest dimension could be more than 18 inches. So uh, what I built was a, that little guy up there, a Strand Beast Rhino. Um, I'll, uh, I'll put a link to my entry video so you can see what that's all about uh, in the description of this video. Uh, the prize was a $1,600 shopping spree at Bailey Industrial's woodworking site and this is what I picked. Uh, it's their 14 inch bandsaw. Um, it's really a, a nice piece of machinery, so I thought I'd kind of walk you through it today and and do a quick little review of it. Uh, I've had a had a chance to put it through its paces a little bit over the last month or so. I started building a bed for my uh, my son and really had a, had a chance to, to test out some of the capabilities of the saw, and uh, I'm very happy with it. So uh, I'll uh, I'll show you around a little bit. So first thing I did was uh, kind of set the tension on the blade, uh, adjust the upper and lower guides, uh, and the, the guides adjust very easily. There's a small set screw on the side, and the uh, the bearings are mounted on a, on a cam, so it's very easy to uh, to dial it in pretty quickly uh, and get those bearings right where you need them. Um, so that uh, top and bottom guides are, uh, are are real quick to set up, and uh, after that I put the table on. Um, that's a real uh, real Quick operation. The uh, the trunnion uh, it's held on with two thumb screw or uh, two knobs underneath, uh, and the, the, there's a cast iron trunnion that it mounts to, uh, and the upper trunnion mounted under the table is steel. Uh, that goes on easily. Uh, um, fence, real nice fence, uh, went on quickly. This whole assembly was uh, this was all assembled right out of the box, so all you had to do was mount the rails. Um, get those adjusted for height, which is pretty quick and easy. I've since added this uh, auxiliary fence for resawing. Uh, I'll get to that. But uh, the fence itself is, is very nice. It rides on two bearings and uh, those also are very easy to adjust. There's a set screw under this bearing and uh, this, this one's mounted on a cam. So you adjust it with a screwdriver to adjust square. It's a piece of cake and it goes quick, so that's nice. Um, this is a really, really nice fence. I feel like on some saws, the, uh, some band saws, the, the fence is sort of an afterthought, even on higher end models, but that's really not the case here. This is real heavy duty cast iron and it, and it slides. It's just it's real smooth, so uh, it works works great and really happy with it. And it locks down really sturdy. Uh, so, overall, assembly was, was quick and straightforward, probably about an hour. I uh, had it up and running and, and well adjusted. I did some test cuts and it was basically right on the money. Well, if we open it up, uh, kind of take a look inside. Uh, the upper and lower wheels are uh, real nice, heavy cast iron uh, mounted on these real beefy bearings. Uh, really nice, smooth operation uh, and, and really easy to adjust. One thing that uh, the, uh, the blade alignment adjusts, there's some knobs on the back. Uh, but the way that this cabinet's made, you can see right into your blade. So as you're dialing in these knobs, you're staring right at the blade, getting it where you want it, which is which is nice. Some of the some of the other saws that I've seen and used, they have the the wheels sort of set back in the cabinet. There's a little window, and uh, I mean you can see, but this is really nice. You can see the whole thing and, and really get your your blade aligned where you want it on the wheel. So that's a nice feature. Um, the upper guide assembly, uh, it's a real nice rack and pinion system. Um, the locking knob here and the hand wheel on the back operates very smoothly and it's quick. Uh, not a lot of rotations to get the the, uh, the rack where you want it. Um, uh, up here is the blade tensioning. Um, handles both t the tension and, and a tension quick release. Um, right now the blade is tensioned uh, and, and actually you'll notice uh, I don't have the saw plugged in. I probably should mention that before I started. Um, but this switch is it, it's real nice. There's a, a light to indicate when the saw is plugged in. Uh, 
Uh, this is your uh, blade tension release. It's tension now. Pop it down, um, and it takes tension off. And this is you can adjust the tension by rotating this. Um, but uh, it's really kind of hard from the side. But uh, retention the blade there. I like having it all in one place. I think it's a nice feature. Some some saws you'll see a hand wheel either on the bottom, on the back, or on the top. And then they have a separate tension release. Um, that's all well and good. It's it's keeps it simple and, and it's very effective and it's all right in one place, which is nice. I like that. Uh, this, the saw construction itself, it's got a super heavy column on this side, and so I, I really have no reservations. If I put like a carbide blade on it, something like that, you really got to crank up the tension on those, but um, that column is going to give this enormous beam strength and, and keep a really high tension on those blades without an issue. So uh, just kind of another example of the real heavy construction. Uh, all right. Take a squat oh, down here. Take a look at the lower cabinet. Who doesn't love a good squat? I hope you heard my knees pop. Anyway, uh, lower cabinet is pretty straightforward. The uh, the, the saw, uh, the belt drive has uh, two speeds, and it's it's a piece of cake to to swap between those speeds, and it's very accessible down here. You just uh, loosen up a little hand screw on the back, and that uh, releases your tension, and you can swap the pulley out to. Uh, change the speed. Um, foot brake is a real nice feature. This thing is very, very heavy duty. Two dust ports. Uh, there's the upper ones right behind the blade um, and lower one down here in the corner. Uh, I did a ton of resawing with this and, and really kind of did a lot of use and very little dust in the lower cabinet. So dust, dust, can, dust collection is very effective. Um, well, I forgot to mention something so I have to squat out again. Um, the foot brake is uh, is uh, triggers a small micro switch down there, so not only does it stop the blade, but it, it kills power to the motor, which is a real nice feature. Um, that works well if, if you're starting from the front of the saw and you swing around, you're working on the side, or even from behind to pull something through. Um, you can just hit your foot brake, kills your motor, and uh, and stops the blade instead of reaching around here to, to hit the switch. So that's a nice feature too, but I uh, forgot to mention it in my last squat. So hopefully that's the last one I have to do. All right, if we come around to the back side of the saw, uh, get your motor here, 1.5 horsepower, um, dual voltage you can run on 110 or 220. Uh, you got your dust ports. And uh, this is your, uh, to adjust the tilt of the table, I already loosened up the trunnion screws. Just pop that off. Table slides up or down wherever you want it, nice and smooth. And there's a bolt back there that'll put you right back at 90 when you want it. So there's a couple of knobs under the trunnion to, to loosen that up and tighten it up. Um, that's about it from over here. Let's go up. All right, not much going on back here. Uh, these two knobs are for your blade alignment. Um, They'll adjust that, that upper wheel so that your, your blade runs where you want it. And this is the hand wheel for your uh, upper guides. So that adjusts the height of those. I guess that's it. So what's a good review video without some action shots? It's like the shower scene of woodworking reviews. Uh, so let's do some test cuts and see how it works. All right, we'll do a quick uh, rip cut. This is a piece of eight quarter inch hard maple. Um, gonna run that through. I left the guides a bit higher than I normally would, just so you can see the cut a little better.
guys and gals, uh, some parting thoughts. I'm really very happy with the saw, so I, I, I couldn't have uh, come at a better time either. I've got, got some good projects ahead to, to really keep uh, keep testing it out, but uh, so far I'm, I'm just really impressed with it, really happy with it. So I have no hesitations recommending this saw to anyone uh, looking to pick up a, a, a high-end, heavy-duty 14-inch bandsaw. It's, it's really fantastic. So. Thank you again to, to Bailey for, for hosting the, the contest, and they've really been a pleasure to deal with since then. And uh, and also thanks to all the people on Woodworking Talk and those who voted for me and who supported and enjoyed the project. And uh, check out the link in the in the description of this video to check out my entry project that that won me this fine piece of uh, machinery. And uh, enjoy that, and rate, comment, and subscribe. And we'll uh, we'll see you next time. To start on creative woodworking, get Woodworking for Beginners by Rogue or Orm. Or visit the website in the description box below for more guidelines.